Hey guys, and welcome back! It has been a couple days since I've uploaded because I have just felt, eh, not, not exactly the greatest. Anyways, today we're finally back, and hopefully back for a good, good little bit before missing a video again, who knows? Anyways, today a fan asked why his game was failing, they said they worked pretty hard on it, and it's just not getting players. I did hop into this game earlier today, and it didn't work at all. So I replied to him and I was like, hey man, it's hard for a game to succeed. If the game doesn't work, like if you can't play the game, it's, it's not going to do good. And then they fixed that. So we're going to hop in and check it out and see if there's any other reasons we think it could be doing not too hot. But I would say up until this point, that game break, game breaking bug is, is quite literally the reason uh, that it, it was failing. So in this game, you have a weapon, which you can get right here. And you have pets, which you can get right behind them. The weapons, uh, we'll get into that soon. And the pets, which we'll also get into soon, just not awesome. I have a few ideas that can help you kind of spruce those up and make it more rewarding for a player. The number one thing that I've found playing this game for a grand total of, I'd say, 10 minutes is the balance is horrible. Like there's, oh, how do, how do I say this the best way? The only way that I have progressed within the game is the free gifts you get right here, like 1.5K coins. Watch how long it would take me to get 1,500 coins. Keep in mind that I have three pets from the only egg you can buy in this zone. And I have the second or no, I have the, the third weapon, this one right here. So I'm halfway done with the weapons for this zone and have three of the pets that you can get from this egg. Watch this. So it one hits, okay. We'll just go around, we'll click these. And now we just destroyed two items. Look at my coins. That whole time, we just, we don't really go up that much. Broke another thing, still, okay. So it looks like maybe almost 100 or 100 per break. I guess that's not too, too bad. But when you look at the first door, guys, it costs 50,000, okay? Now, if we look at this, I have 8,000 simply because of the, the rewards that you get for playing. Those are pretty good. But if we didn't have those at all, like, look, let's grab this bag. Let's just see. Okay, so a bigger object only drops two coins. Maybe they were worth more. I'm not sure. Another thing that I don't think it would really make the game fail, but it does bug me so much because I know it's possible to fix the fact that when you go to an object, you don't face the object. Like if I click on this, why do I walk past it and then hit it? Like, it's so strange. You should have like a thing that's uh, what is it called? Shift lock. So once you click on something, maybe it shift locks and goes around it or something. I think that would help a lot just for the aesthetics. And then getting back into this core loop. Another thing that I don't really like is it's not that satisfying. Let's go ahead and grab this and I'll show you guys what I mean. The slow hammer swings definitely don't help. There might be a game pass for that. Walk faster, double damage. Okay, so it doesn't look like there actually is one, but look at this, the coins. They kind of lag to you. Do you guys see that like little stutter? And it might not seem like a huge deal, but when it comes to simulators, the things that make it, what is this confetti? It, it's such random confetti. Did that happen because I'm getting a gift or like I could claim a gift? Why is it over there? Like what's the importance of it just being on? <laughs> okay, I'm guessing it's because I have a gift. A thousand gems. Anyway, simulators, it's very hard to make them succeed. Uh, two reasons. One, if they're not satisfying. The fact that the coins kind of lag to you just feels like it slows the game down, which doesn't help on top of the slow, uh, like, swinging. That also doesn't help. And then you have to get 50,000 coins to get to zone two, which I think is absolutely insane. Like, we have 10,000 right now. And we have no hope of getting 50,000 unless we maybe get a good pet. And the problem isn't even the amount of damage our weapon does, which we can look into upgrading. 10,000, this gives us 75 damage instead of 25, so that will be nice. Let's go ahead and grab that. But the amount of coins you get per object is just not good. So we get 200 coins for those. And then for this, let's see, we get, excuse me, buddy, 300 coins. All right, guys, Um, I paused the video. I don't know when I paused it. And this is what I'm talking about. This is why I haven't been making videos. Like I'm so, so not a YouTuber these past couple days. Anyways, here's some ideas. First things first, I, once again, I don't know where or what I said last, but first things first, this game is not satisfying. And when it comes to simulators, they need to be satisfying in order to be uh, just 
even remotely close to popping on Roblox? Secondly, this has nothing to do with uh, why it's failing, but what is this random confetti that happens every once in a while? It just happens on this half of the map, and there's nothing that happens, there's nothing that cool that spawns in. There's no chat message that says uh, uh, something is on the map. There's nothing for me to claim. Like, what is that random confetti? It's just strange. Now, ideas for this game and everything that you can do to make it actually start popping. Because the build itself doesn't seem too bad. The number one thing hurting your game right now is the balance. It costs 50,000 coins to get into this next zone. If we destroy the best thing, which is one of these, it gives us about 200 coins. That means we'd have to destroy that like 166 times. The best thing, destroy it 166 times to get into the next zone. Combine that with how slow we're walking, how slow we swing our weapon, and it just is gonna take way, way too long. I'd say the balance is the most scuffed part of the game. Secondly, uh, it's not satisfying to pick up the coins, which like, look at this, it kind of like lags towards your player. It's just not satisfying. Now, if we go over to the weapons, they're cool, but they could be so much cooler. It looks like you designed this one and then it was like, all right, each time I'll just take one piece off. Uh, and there's not really that much of a reward other than more damage. On Roblox, the player base usually likes over the top stimulation. I would say at a point light and some particles and maybe some color changes just to make it feel more rewarding to get these higher end tools in this first zone. The hatching system also seems a bit dull. Like it's cool that it shifts your camera around, but look at this. Cool, the dog popped up on the screen. There's no sunbursts or confettis or anything to make that just a bit nicer. And keeping in mind how closely this game resembles something like Pet Simulator X, even if we look at the UI, um, there's no reason to pick this game over Pet Simulator X. Every portion of the gameplay loop feels slow, in my opinion, whether that be how much we have to save up to earn the next door, or how quickly we can attack something. It just feels slow and a bit unpolished. Now, I will say, I think this game could do at least somewhat decent. Do I think it'll be a front page game? Not exactly. And that's not to uh, demotivate you or anything, but there's just too much competition in the exact same space. And there's nothing in this that separates it widely from any of that competition. But I do think it could do a little bit, like a few hundred players and make you and your team at least a little bit of Robux to start working on your next project or to find a way to make this super different than uh, what's out there already. But it does look like everything within the game is inspired by Pet Simulator, which is definitely a good game to take inspiration from. But even that, now it's been a long time since I've played Pet Simulator, but I, that looks so familiar. This like, this tubes thing? I don't know, man. I genuinely don't think I'll be able to get up to 50K. The game isn't, and once again, I don't say this to be rude, like I'm not trying to be a, a Debbie Downer or anything, but I don't think this game is fun enough or keeps me interested enough to even try to get to the 50,000 coins. But I do think if you guys work on the balance and make the progression feel a little bit better or more rewarding, the game could definitely do a lot better than it is now. Hopefully some of this advice you guys take into consideration and hopefully it helps you out. Because at the moment, the only way you could really progress is waiting on these rewards. We just got 7,500 coins. Do you know how long that would take going right here? It's too long. You might as well leave the game and just keep doing that. That's the strat right there. But guys, I do think that is going to wrap it up for today. If you did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.